So people drowned because of negligence. And the one that was alive, the first thing you did was to take him to the mortuary. And then a herbalist, not one person, performed CPR. You took him to herbalist. And then the hospital was your last resort. I won't lie, you guys. We are the one that took him to the herbalist that performed the ritual. We have performed the ritual. That is the most important thing. The reason why we brought him to the hospital, just to give him oxygen. That is our last choice. But he's already confirmed dead, right? Because we came late. Nigeria never happened to you. My people, since yesterday, Nigerians all over the world have just been speechless by the senseless and needless death of four Nollywood crew members. Actor Junior Pope, Mr. Friday, a makeup artist and a sound guy that we still don't even know their names. Let me tell you how ridiculous this whole thing is. First of all, a producer on set, not the one producing this movie, uh, his name is Stanley Unwoke, said that the boat was meant for six people. 15 people boarded, already overcrowded because, of course, we don't value human lives. 15 people instead of six. And according to one of the survivors, only two people wore life jackets. That's the director of the movie and the DOP, that is a director of photography. First of all, I want to thank God for saving my life. I don't know how I came out from that boat. The DOP was wearing a jacket and the director was wearing a life jacket. Only two of them wear life jackets. So I guess their own lives are more important than the rest of the crew members. Meanwhile, the skipper, that is the boat driver, was wearing headphones, probably listening to music while taking people, taking human lives across the water. The boat guy was wearing an earpiece. I think he was playing the music and JP was doing video. So he was focusing for his head to come out on the video. In any case, their boat collided with a canoe and it capsized. That was in the front. I see one small canoe. These people were the fishermen. At the time I say see canoe, this thing like canoe like this now, where they move. He for just do like this, but he no get the experience. The first thing we in jam at the last point of the canoe, the boat. Somersaulted. You know there was no lifeguard. It was people that saw the accident from afar that now brought another boat to save some of them. But apparently they didn't even know that there were other people still in the water. It was after dropping off this man and others that they now went back to get Junior Pope. So he was in the water for a long time. They couldn't find the sound guy and the makeup artist, by the way. And the first thing that these people did was to take Junior Pope to the mortuary. Who takes somebody to the mortuary without a doctor confirming that he or she is dead? Nobody performed a CPR. It is not rocket science. You clear the air and then you do chest compression 30 times. If the person is still not up, you give them mouth to mouth. Ideally, an ambulance was supposed to be on its way. But this is Nigeria we are talking about. The time that they were taking him to the mortuary, they could have resuscitated him. It was the mortuary attendant that now told them, this guy is still alive. He now advised them to take him to a herbalist for rituals, for voodoo. And these people, educated people, many of them graduates, they also drove him to the herbalist. They all stood there. The herbalist was doing rituals. Still no CPR. You see, this guy actually tried. He fought. They said that after the rituals, he moved his hand. It was now the herbalist that now told them to take him to the hospital. They brought him from the river. Instead of them to take him to the herbalist that told them to bring him so that they will perform the ritual, so that his spirits will come back. They rushed him to mortuary direct, not even hospital. Not only will just want me you die so that they will come bury you. We have performed the ritual. That is the most important thing. The man told us to take him to the hospital so that he will take oxygen. Herbalist was the one telling educated people to take Somebody to the hospital in 2024. Who bewitched you guys? It was as if we by India. Who caused you? Did you guys think that you were still acting a movie, taking him to the herbalist? You now said, oh, you tried your best. You took him to two hospitals, but he died. What were you expecting? And obviously, the hospital didn't have the defibrillator, the heart shocker. When I said Menengira never happened to you, it's a very big prayer because this guy and all the others that died in this accident, they were not supposed to die. Amu Alon Kolile, this is not how God wants it. This is what we call Nigerian factor. Every video production, whether music video or movie production, should have medics on set. It doesn't matter if it's a regular movie that you are shooting or a religious movie, so that you don't think you can pray your way out of accidents. Those of you that are acting Christian movies, yes, you should always have medics that will be on standby. In case any medical issues arise, 
during shooting. They will also be the ones advising you on safety measures. Also, my people, please learn how to swim. It can save your life. It is never too late to learn how to swim. And if you don't know how to swim, never agree to get on a boat without life jacket and lifeguards. It doesn't matter whether or not you will be blacklisted because all these actors are now coming out saying, oh, if he had complained, he would have been blacklisted. It is better to be blacklisted and be alive than to not say anything because of what people will say and die. Some people in the movie industry need to be held accountable for endangering the lives of the actors and their crew members. Otherwise, nothing will change. And there should always be lifeguards where people are being transported on water. Meanwhile, Nigerians are saying, oh, please, we need to be educated on how to handle emergencies. The first thing to do is not to bring out your cell phone, filming, recording, going live. Enough of crowd gathering, all of them trying to film. How can somebody even breathe? Even at the hospital, you need to see the crowd. The whole place was filled with crowd. Also, nobody is saying that you should not pray, but use your common sense at the same time. CPR, Tori alone. You don't have to be a medical practitioner to learn how to compress the chest. And did you notice there was no 911 to call? No ambulance. They were carrying him and walking. Ash. They wasted too much time. The guy fought. He really did. To think just the day before he made a video on Instagram while on a boat going to the same movie set telling the boat driver to stop speeding saying he's an only child and he has a family to raise. Don't leave me the boat no! Don't leave me the boat! I got three children, I'm going to raise them! I got three children, I'm going to raise them! <laughs> Plus I beg, I beg! And just like that, Nigeria happened to him. Had deepest condolences to his wife, his three children, his parents, and the families of the other crew members. Everybody is so focused on Junior Pope. They didn't even release the names of the makeup artist, the sound guy. You know, all I can think of are their parents. We're talking about the crew members. Some people are still under the water. Three people, two sound, sound um, engineers, and a makeup artist. They are still under the water. Tomorrow by 12 o'clock, we'll go to that place, do the normal ritual, because they have to do ritual before they will resume the body. Guys, every day, people that don't need to die are dying in Nigeria because we don't value human lives. We gamble with human lives. May Nigeria never happen to you.